this planet for 60 years more, you know. Um, when we sent out the letter, when Naomi and Wendell Berry and I and a few others sent out the letter asking people to come to Washington to get arrested, one of the things we said was, we don't think young people should have to be the cannon fodder here. So, you know, if you're 22 right now, a arrest record may not be the absolute best thing on your resume. It's completely fine to sit in at the dean's office. That's not going to be a problem. But one of the few unmixed blessings of growing older is past a certain point, what the hell are they going to do to you? <laughs> that would be rude, but we did cleverly say, who was president when you were born? And the two biggest cohorts came from the FDR and the Truman administration. Okay? And on the last day, there was a guy arrested with a sign around his neck that said, World War II vet, handle with care. He'd been born in the Warren Harding administration, an administration so long ago I frankly have forgotten that it took place. Um, the point is, young people, that your elders are beginning to stand up and do their work, and we're going to need a lot more of that. And if you happen to be on campuses, this is especially true, this is what tenure was made for. Okay? arrests was that we asked people if they'd come in a necktie or a dress, okay? Now, I live in Vermont, which is, you know, makes Washington look formal. We don't, you know, <laughs> neckties are for funerals, and that's about it. But we wanted to get across a really important symbolic point, which is there is nothing radical about what we're asking for. Nothing at all. All we're asking for is a world that works a little bit like the one we were born on too. Like the one that everybody who grew up during the 10,000 years of the Holocene was born on too. That's not a radical demand. If anything, that's a very conservative demand. Okay? Radicals work at oil companies. If you are willing to make a vast fortune by altering the chemical composition of the atmosphere, then you're engaged in a more radical act than any human being before you. And our job is to try and rein in that radicalism before it totally, finally overwhelms this good earth and everything upon it. I'm not certain, Ken, that science is pretty dark and the power on the other side is pretty big, but I know that we're going to try. And by we, I mean all over the world. I've spent the last half decade circling this planet as we organized for 350. Uh, and so I can tell you that all over the globe, including in those places that have done nothing to cause this crisis, there are people willing and eager to join in this fight. It's always a great honor to be in those rooms. It is such a great honor to be in this room tonight. I'm as excited as I have ever been. I don't know. I'm not certain that we're going to win, but I'm certain that we're going to fight. I'm certain that it's going to be a great honor to be shoulder to shoulder with you all. And just looking around here tonight, i got to say, I like our odds. Thank you all so much.